Welcome back travelers. Today we're going to install a soft start. While we were at the Super Show here in Florida, we picked up an additional soft start for our rear uh, air conditioner heater. We've already got one on the front. We really need those when we're running off of our solar system so that the we don't have such a surge of power uh, on the batteries uh, when the air conditioner comes on. You can on these things see up to, I think I saw one test that there was like a 50 amp surge as that compressor kicked on. And after the soft start, it's only about 12 amps. So we're going to go through the process of installing a micro air soft start on our Coleman Mach um, air conditioner heat pump on the top of our rig. So hang on, here we go. So whenever you buy the Micro Air Soft Star, it comes with paperwork uh, on here. And it's got scan codes for the different types of installs that you want to do. It's got plenty of instructions on it, but one of the things that you will need to do before you go climbing on your roof is one, make sure that you're comfortable with being up on top of your roof. The other is you're going to need to download the instructions. It's got very specific instructions on each type, how to wire them wire by wire and then while while we were with them uh, they sell a little install kit so once we get on the roof I'll walk you through some of that you're gonna need a basic set of tools you're gonna need some side cutters probably a pair of needle nose or something to reach in there and pull some of these off uh, and then you're gonna need a way to put some new ends some uh, flat ends back on the wires as we go through taking them apart the other thing that you're gonna want to do is to make sure that you have got all power sources turned off to it. Now, if you're like us and we've got a solar system, our camper really never knows that it's turned off. So you need to make a special effort to make sure that you go to your breaker panel and turn off the breaker for the AC. And you really don't want to get electrocuted while uh, 13, 14 feet up in the air. So you need to make sure and turn off your breakers. So you can go to your breaker box right here Look for your AC listings and flip those breakers off. And I actually have three. So we're gonna flip all of those off, make sure that they're off. And then we can climb on the roof and double check it to make sure that there's no power up there, but we should be good and we can get started on putting the soft start in between the uh, start capacitor, run capacitor and the compressor. See, so anytime that I'm working on my roof, one of the things that I like to do is I've got a small bucket that I use, put all my tools in my bucket, I climb up on the roof, I've got some cord, and I just uh, pull it up on the roof, and that way I don't have to worry about struggling up and down the ladder, carrying tools, that kind of thing, just makes life a whole lot easier on you. So I've got my soft start, I've got my bucket of tools, I've got my cord, it's getting time to get on the roof. I've already made sure that the power is off. so. Uh, we'll make sure that that's done. I'll double check it again, and then we'll climb on the roof and get this party started. Now, obviously, we've got our dishy here. That makes it kind of interesting climbing up on the roof, but I always keep two hands, and you should be in good shape. We've got our tools up here. We're in good shape. We're going to be working on the rear air conditioner, so we're in a good spot right here. See, we've got all of our solar panels up here. Surprisingly enough, for it to be February the 1st, there sure is a lot of pollen here in Florida. So. On the Coleman Mox, there's four Phillips head screws right here on top. I'm going to spin those off right quick. I use the bucket for that as well to keep it down in there. And then it should just lift right off. Just like that. Get sat down here so y'all can see. Next thing is on this side of the AC unit, you're gonna need to take this panel off that's right here. Oh no, there should be a, a couple of screws right here. Spin that off. That'll give us access to the wiring that's inside and where we need to do our hookup at. Things that you're going to have to do is this is this is the soft start, so we're going to need to find a place in here to uh, mount this, and it's got plenty of cord. Uh, you can mount it wherever. The cord is going to need to come through this uh, watered slot right here, uh, so that we can tie into 
the rest of the things and you definitely don't want to be uh, in an area where it gets messed up with your fan so find your spot in here get you a good mounting spot and uh, we'll do that here in a second and I'll show you where I come up with it. see just stick it through that hole right there get your wire ends out here long enough so that they reach and when we get done we'll zip tie all this back together and clean it up and make it like nice and pretty I am walking you through it as the directions read and the first thing the directions say is to find your wires that are in top of your compressor right here and there should be three there's a black a red and a white you want to follow the white wire all the way over to the run capacitor and pull it loose. We're gonna take the end of this wire off, twist these together, and put a connector on here and connect the brown wire uh, from the soft start to the white wire that goes to your compressor. Take one of these connectors, slip it right on there, make sure you get it good and seated. And I always give it a tug test to make sure that these wires are in there good and tight. Alright, the next thing is, is you take the white wire that comes on the on the easy start here it's already got a yellow connector on it but if it doesn't you take this put you a yellow connector on it and you connect it back to where the other white wire came from all right we're popped back into place it's two steps done okay. so the other wire that you're gonna have to find is your red wire you can take your red wire it's gonna be on the other side uh, where your uh, run capacitor is at so we want to take the orange wire with a blue connector and tie in to the same group as to where your red wire from your uh, on your run capacitor on the other side. And you have to wiggle your hands up in here a bit, but there we go. And I'm literally going step by step through these instructions just to show that it's it's not that hard uh, to do. Now we're going to trace our black wire. All right, so on this one there's a little bit something different the instructions actually address it uh, because that the unit that we're working on here is a heat pump um, it has a small free sensor board that's in here so your black and purple wire don't add up like the constructions would say it does refer to it in a note in the bottom and there's a black wire the black wire that comes from your compressor uh, goes to the freeze board so According to the instructions, it says splice the black wire into the black wire from the compressor in this system. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to splice those together right here, and that should be pretty much it, other than tying some loose ends and giving it a test run. Got that all spliced together and we'll just plug this back into where it came from here. And we should be uh, back in cruising space here. So I'm gonna go climb back down, turn the power back on, and then get Donna to uh, rotate it on and off for us up here. It does say in the instructions that you need to uh, kick it on 
run it for about five minutes and, and then run the thermostat up so it'll kick off and do that about four or five times because the easy start has a memory to it and that's how it learns about your compressor is to rotate it on and off so we're going to go downstairs and give it a fire up and see if this is an easy project for the day all right so i went down and turned the breakers on i'm going to call donna and uh, get her to cycle it on Hey, all right, go ahead and run the temperature down and get it to turn on. Is that low cool? Yeah. Okay, now it kicked back on. I think it was probably 30 seconds is all it was. It's not as long as you think it is. It seems like it's running like it's supposed to. I heard the compressor kick on right here. So what we're going to do now is, between Donna and I, we're going to rotate it on and off three or four more times to set the memory in the soft start so that it knows how to react to this particular uh, setup because these are built for different types of uh, different types of air conditioners, different brands, you just wire them a little bit different, that's all you gotta do. All of them are basically the same. So now we'll, uh, if you don't mind Donna, go ahead and let's uh, run the temperature up to about 70, 75 and let it shut off. Okay. Give it just a minute. Yep, the compressor just kicked off. We're going to let it set for just a minute and then we're going to run the temperature back down and get it to kick back on again. So we got everything hooked up. Everything's up and running. You got to cycle it through about four or five times and let it run for five or ten minutes at a time in order to program the uh, soft start to understand your system a little bit. But we'll wrap up, clean up the wires here, make everything look nice and neat. And So all in all, this isn't a real bad job. If you get your prep work done beforehand and climb up on the roof, it shouldn't take more than about 20 or 30 minutes to install one of these things. It's really, really easy if you can follow directions because it's almost like coloring a crayon. If you turn the power off, the instructions are as simple as collect orange wire to black wire, so on and so forth. So uh, good with your hands, you ought to be able to do something like this. So stay tuned for more. I appreciate you watching. And we will see you somewhere on the road.